something that really, really sets in over the years is the fact, what I call the American spirit, it's the volunteers that showed up at 4 o'clock in the morning, the first day, the next day, the next day. We're not talking about 10, 15 people. We're talking about hundreds of people, thousands of people, over a period of weeks. There were people that were sitting home watching 24 hours of CNN, just watching the collapse, the collapse happen over and over again. When they first got there, there was some difficulty about them getting into the perimeter. I was capable of figuring out how to get them in, making sure that they didn't go home empty-handed. Years in my, I hear their cries. I offer my shoulder to carry their sorrow. I offer my hand to rebuild their tomorrow. I brought my body and left my home. I come to help people I've never known. I bring them back out of pain, and I will do this. Local first responders, Chief Fire Chief Brian Davis and Police Chief Dan Doyle. Let's uh, join the club over here. And on behalf of all the first responders, I want to say that the Havasu Memorial Walkway, which is not only adding a beautiful visitor attraction to the city, it's also raising funds and dollars from the recent uh, brick sales for the Havasu Memorial Walkway. And uh, if you don't have a brick on the walkway, get on the path. <laughs>